The camera world is about to change forever, and if you've been thinking about buying a new cinema camera, you need to stop everything and listen. For months, rumors have been swirling in the shadows of the industry. Professionals are whispering, leaks are surfacing, and the specs we are seeing for the Sony FX3 II aren't just an upgrade. They are a complete revolution. This isn't just about more megapixels or a faster processor. This is about Sony deciding to kill off its own high-end competition. Imagine a camera that fits in the palm of your hand, but possesses the raw power of a Venice 2. We are talking about a sensor technology that was supposed to be impossible at this price point. Why is Sony doing this? Because the landscape of content creation has shifted, and the FX3 II is their weapon of choice to dominate the next decade. If you look back at the original FX3, it was a masterpiece. It redefined what a compact cinema camera could be. But it had its limits. We wanted better internal cooling, we wanted more dynamic range, and we secretly prayed for an electronic variable ND filter that didn't require a bulky body. Well, the wait is almost over. The rumor suggests that Sony has finally cracked the code. Let's dive into the heart of this beast. The sensor. Sources are pointing towards a new stacked CMOS sensor architecture. What does this mean for you? Zero rolling shutter. You could be filming a high-speed car chase or a chaotic handheld sequence, and every frame will be as crisp as a still photo. This is the death of the jello effect that has haunted mirrorless shooters for years. But that's just the beginning. The low-light performance is being whispered as night vision grade. We thought the dual-base ISO of the original was impressive, but the FX3 II is rumored to push those boundaries into a territory where noise simply doesn't exist. Imagine shooting in a moonlit forest and getting a clean, usable image that looks like it was shot under a professional lighting rig. This is the level of freedom we are talking about. And then there's the AI. Sony has been leading the pack with their AI autofocus, but the FX3 II takes it to a psychological level. It won't just track eyes. It will predict movement based on human behavior. It's like having a professional focus puller living inside your lens mount. For solo creators in the USA and across the globe, this is the ultimate game changer. You can focus on your story while the camera handles the technical perfection. But here is the part that has the industry truly worried. The price to performance ratio. Sony knows that Red and Ari are watching. By putting flagship features into this compact body, they are making professional grade cinematography accessible to everyone. But there's a catch. With this much power comes a massive demand for data. The new recording formats rumored for the FX3 II will require a whole new level of storage solutions. Are you prepared for 8K internal RAW at high frame rates? Because that is the rumor that keeps coming back. Think about the ergonomics. The FX3 was loved for its cage-free design. The Mark II is expected to refine this even further. Better button placement. A more robust cooling system that guarantees unlimited recording even in the desert heat and a viewfinder solution that actually makes sense for cinema shooters. Now, let's talk about the competition. Canon and Panasonic are not sitting still, but Sony has a secret weapon, the e-mount ecosystem. With the FX3 II, every lens you own becomes twice as capable. The synergy between the new processor and the G Master Glass will produce colors that we've only 